What is going on guys, Spasmatic here, back inside Destiny and Iron Banner has just went live inside of Destiny once again. And before I get into what Lord Saladin has brought for this week's Iron Banner loot and stuff, let's go to the Postmaster here and see what we got for our Ghost. Apparently we got 320 Ghost for playing 7 matches, so I got the Sugary Shell, see if it got a roll I want. If it's uh, Intellect Discipline, so I'll actually kind of happy about that i can actually use this and finally i am i can hit 320 now on my uh hunter let's see here what i have to change oh yeah these uh gauntlets so there we go 320 i just hit 320 on my hunter because the ghost was the last thing i was missing so i'm pretty happy about that so let's go over to lord Saladin now and see what he's brought for us for iron banner this week i've heard he has the sniper and the rocket launcher i'm pretty sure i forget what armor pieces he has but let's go over to him and approach him and see what he's got for this week's iron banner what I have. For this week's Iron Banner, Lord Sound has brought some pretty good stuff. He's got the gauntlets uh, with his like discipline roll with increased reload for hand cannon and increased grenade throw distance. And for the helmet for the hunter, he's got intellect discipline roll with uh, ashes the assets, and I think that is um, uh, better already. So like, you get more shields, uh, recovery after immediate or pickup. So pretty good. I'm pretty sure for the hunter or the titan and the warlock, the rolls will be different on these two things. But for the weapons at rank uh, four, you get the sniper, the Waylorn's March, which I've heard is like one of the highest aim assist snipers in the game. Because with army of one, armor piercing rounds, injection mold, reinforced barrel. Farfly with Hawkeye, Longview, and Ambush scopes. And for the armor pieces, you get the gloves at rank 3, and you get the helmet at rank 4. And at rank 5, you get the rocket launcher, the Tor Mods, Bellows with tripod, tracking, quick draw, single point sling, snapshot, aggressive launch, smart drift control, and hard launch. So it's a pretty decent rocket launcher, not too bad. I would go for uh, grenades and horseshoes as always for a PvP rocket on the uh, rocket launchers. But as always, you got the emblems, you got Iron Pride, the Ironwood Tree, and you got Million Million, Gold Spiral, as well as the Weekly Bounties and the Daily Bounties. So for these, you got Iron Gauntlet, Iron Marathon, Iron Versatility, Iron Light, Iron Heavy Heavy Iron, and Familiar Iron. So these are dailies. These reset every day, and the weeklies are only here for a week. So I already got one done. I saved it from last Iron Banner, so I'm pretty kind of ahead of everyone else for this. So I got one of those done. I just need to complete these two, and I'll be done with my weeklies. So... This is what uh, Lord Sal Saladin has brought for this week's Iron Banner. Some pretty decent stuff, so to say. The armor is actually pretty good for the Hunter. I don't know about the Warlock or Titan, but um, if you guys are playing those characters, be sure to pick up what you want from Lord Saladin. If you guys want to play Iron Banner, be sure to get a group of friends or something to head to the Iron Banner and hopefully get some decent rewards. And as always, um, don't forget to pick up your Ghosts. The 320 Ghosts are here, so be sure to check your Postmaster as well if you got yours um, in the Postmaster. So if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Back inside Destiny. Peace.